we don't have time to waste reps here. And if we're going 75% of something, then we're wasting time. <laughs> The never-ending battle to improve athletic ability takes many forms. Athletes fighting for top draft position must sacrifice their bodies for grueling days of physical training and position-specific work. But there is more to being an elite athlete than a strong bench press and a fast 40. Alternative training methods, nutrition and regeneration are required to reach the highest levels of athleticism. And today, the guys at EXOS are introducing these NFL prospects to one of the most overlooked aspects of training, yoga. Today we had a little bit of a special treat, so the guys got to go out at the beach. Beautiful scene out there, facing the ocean they got to go through. An hour-long yoga session with Donnie Edwards, who was just fantastic at being able to tie the game and yoga together and recovery together and um, did some great visualization with the guys and uh, uh, was just a fantastic mentor for them. Guys who don't know how to breathe are going to be out of breath beyond the oxygen machine. Sounds kind of crazy, but when you take a big inhale, your belly expands. And you exhale, you, you know, coming to young guys just starting their NFL career, it's nice to add another element to their training, to their mindset training, and to their physical training as well, because that's what yoga is. It, it brings them both together, the physical and the mental, which is great, because once you get that aspect of having that inner confidence of who you are, what you are, I think it helps you on the, uh, on the field. Forward fold, hands from your waist, forward fold. Right. You can use yoga for everything and just really helps you meditate and bring in all the stuff that you could tie into life. Close your eyes and think about that. That's, that's a form of meditation. And that's the thing that you need in the NFL. The number one thing that, I mean, that most guys don't understand is the NFL is about confidence. If you doubt yourself, you're going to be beat. You're going to be beat quick and you're never going to survive in the league. I was telling them, uh, you know, close your eyes and just relax and see where you are in one year. Are you starting? Are you on a team? Are you on the streets? You know, are you in the Pro Bowl? I mean, all these different things. Because I, I think once you visualize things, when you visualize it, it becomes a reality sometimes. And, you know, and he was asking us questions as far as, you know, where do you see yourself five years, six years from now? Um, I, you know, that was my first time actually really sitting down thinking about that. And, you know, he also asked, you know, asked us to think about, you know, think about where you are right now and how far you came. And it was my first time actually, you know, taking the time to sit back and realize that, and, you know, we've all, you know, everyone in this building came a long way, you know, and you kind of look at that and you kind of just smile, but with smile knowing that, you know, you got a lot more left, you know, to go, and, you know, this is just the beginning. If you have the right mentality saying, you know what, I'm open to everything and I want to learn as much as I can learn. If you have that that attitude about life, you're going to grow. So that's what I try to instill today. Like, just guy, guys, try things you haven't tried before. You know, that's how you increase your capacity of learning about life. If you think you know everything, your capacity to, to learn is full. Understanding the connection between body and mind is essential to top performance. But elite athletes also understand the connection between what you put in your body and how you perform. Today, Shaq Thompson joins Exos nutritionist Jill Olson on a guided grocery store tour to learn more about making the right food choices. So that originally started with kind of an initial nutrition 101 that we take the guys through that just says, hey, these are some 10 rules that we're going to follow. We'll later on follow it up with the grocery store tour. The smoothie thing right here. Actually bad. They just have a lot of calories. So when you look at a naked juice, they have twice as many calories as a normal juice. So that's good for me though. For a weight gain, you're okay. Juices for weight gain is good. If you're trying to lean out and lose weight, avoid the juices. Um, so a lot of what we do at the grocery store is just teaching them, you know, shop the walls before the halls, make sure, you know, you're staying to the outside of the grocery store before you head into the more processed foods, which is typically going to be in your aisles. Ground beef is good. If you want a nice lean beef, bison is also really good. Gives you a little bit more flavor. You said what? Bison. Buffalo burgers. They, 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 they carry them here? Sometimes, some places do. Avoid the Lunchables and things like that, unless you're in a pinch, okay? And then once you do go in those aisles, we're just looking at things, like actually teaching them how to read a label. So we looked at some bread products and I said, okay, which bread is best for you? This has two grams. The first ingredient is, says refined 
white flour. Okay, this next one says three grams of fiber and it says whole wheat is the first ingredient. And then I have the guys kind of pick which one it would be best. What's that one say? En enriched. enriched. Right, so that was one of those words that we wanted to avoid, right? Yeah. What's wrong with enriched? enriched? It just means that there's things added into it. It's not truly whole wheat bread. So we could just look at it and be like whole wheat, all right. Mm -hmm. So they'll usually what say about it the here, but it, it sometimes it lies to you. Mm. It's not, it's not whole wheat good. eating. Yeah, so he actually took really well to learning about the reading the nutrition label and realized, hey, those are more of your, your processed things, the things that are chemical based rather than real food. So this one was no little, boy, the Wonder Bread. No wonder. You mind tell you go to the store get that Wonder Bread. This one say unbleached. It was it was just cool just to like figure because I'm so used to eating all bad food so just to get the healthy side of it so I'm like okay now I know how to change my body and eat healthy and eat like healthy good stuff into instead of the bad stuff that's not good for your body. You what about these right here? Twinkies. No, no Twinkies. One lesson I took away from Mama Jill was uh, to give up the sweets. <laughs> I have a big sweet tooth. You know, I love like honey buns, candy and all that. And that's just one big thing that I learned. You know, I was pointing to honey buns. I was like, this? It's just like, uh, you can have one. And I was just like, oh, all right. So just like eating more healthy. You can have Jif, but which kind? Do we want to go natural peanut butter or do we want to go? Creamy. 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 We want to go creamy. But we want to go natural versus this. Cause look at the ingredients. So if we yeah. look at that ingredient, do what that taste like it? this. Tastes exactly the same. See all the things that are in there? What's, this one only has peanuts, sugar, and some molasses. That's got a lot more in it. I remember my granny used to give us these. And <laughs> 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 hey, look though, she used to give us those what about the two this one? graham crackers. So that's going to have Damn. the same ingredients and more oh, because it has way. fillers in it to make really it taste smack. like that. Yeah, so I need to go throw my peanut butter away. Yeah. This is going to be a better bet or like an almond butter. Cutting out all the fast food and getting to the healthier nutrition, eating a little bit cleaner, less processed is ultimately gonna get you to that next level and make your body just run a little bit better. So that's hopefully what we want all of our guys to end up getting out of the program. With the day wrapping up at Exos, the guys at Proactive in Orange County are also winding down. After an intense afternoon of training, the athletes here are given access to a very special type of regeneration, the cryo chamber. A cryotherapy tank is a, it's kind of like a contrast. So back in the day, you know, there was an ice bath and you would go in the hot tub and back in the ice bath. So what the cry, cryotherapy tank is, is it takes you from, you know, your normal skin temperature, 90 to 95, brings it down to 60 to 65. So what that does is bring all the blood flow to the center of your body and then constricts the veins. So once you're out of it, it opens those veins back up and sends new oxygenated blood to the areas of healing or, you know, all the whole, you know, body pretty much. Ooh, definitely the first couple of days you're scared when you see the, well you'll see when you open it up, but kind of get used to it now. Now it honestly feels good. Yeah, they have music playing in there too, so kind of. You know, he'll go in at negative around 15 or negative 22, depending kind of where it's at. A lot of people are going in, so it's kind of been, you know, kind of the temperature's been dropping a little bit, but he'll go in at usually negative 22 and, and he'll be in there for five minutes. So it does, you know, take your skin temperature from that normal 90 to 95 down to 60 to 65. And like I said before, you know, it, it brings all that blood flow to the center of your body and also constricts your veins. So once you're out, it opens that, you know, those veins up and shoots that blood flow out, that new oxygenated blood flow to, you know, not only the areas of, of healing, but to your whole body. So it's a, it's a great piece, yeah. You want your... Uh, it's easier to get in. It's okay. part of trying to get out. There you go. go ahead.
Ooh. How good? There it is. <laughs> Feels good, honestly. Yeah. You feel like you're rejuvenated after like sometimes when they have us do two workouts, then you get in the get in this after the first one and then you get back in before the second workout. You feel like you haven't even lifted it up. I mean, I don't want to say that, but <laughs> it makes you feel fresh. Okay. Definitely makes you feel fresh like you just start again. Next time on Path to the Pros. Everybody's in a really good place from a mindset standpoint. And, and we're just excited for them to be able to go out and put on display everything that they've been working for since January 5th.